lives. We see when we are now people are less productive and more dependent on outside forces to survive. You understand, especially now in these times where we, we see now this coronavirus pandemic or pandemic is going on. People are more dependent on what the doctor and what other people overseas have to say. You understand, when we here have the natural resources, see, the natural herbs, natural spices that can cure our bodies naturally. So that is one of the main cause, not just the outside forces alone, but the people, the ignorance of the people. You understand? And the immoral behavior of our system, our educational system, which has not taught the youth about the foundation of living. But we have more learned about how to live like other people. You understand? Yeah, so, you know, yeah, man. So, Africa X5, enough love and respect, you know, and continue to do the great work, you know, bringing a message to the African people and not giving them a sense of confidence, which we, I'm not going to say they, which we all need right now. You know, so give thanks, Africa X5. So, Mr. Steamers, why do you think the currency in Africa and currency in Jamaica are so low in comparison to other countries? All right. That goes back to what I was saying from before. Well, let me start with Jamaica. Jamaica is also a country that is rich in resources, you know, especially to our Earth's soil. But we, the people, and the media also cause this, as um, even resented our own place and put more confidence in outside forces and foreign forces, which have come into our country, also taking out a lot of our rich resources out of our country and bring it back to their country, develop on it. For example, like even some pills and tablets and so on. They have taken out some of our um, traditional herbs, traditional spices, whatever, and even engineered it in a way to make um, pills, tablets, and certain form of drugs in which we have to be spending a lot of cash on to try to make our bodies feel better when the real and natural resources are here for us, which we should have developed on in our own country. You understand? Have our own factories, have our own resources, and even, you know, so we can sell, export to other countries or trade, and have a stronger economy. For example, we see this through even the hemp or the ganja plant, the cannabis, where ganja has been seen illegal for many years, and other countries have been using this marijuana and our country now has been fighting against it over the years. And that is one of the resources that has made us, um, you could say, has developed our countries, have built schools, churches. If you read about the Coptics and those things, you'll find out what I'm talking about. So we have lost a lot of things in Jamaica due to outside forces. You know, we have lost a lot of our factories, our airlines. We, we have been mentally infiltrated to our schools. We see when we are now people are less productive and more dependent on outside forces to survive. You understand? Especially now in these times where we, we see now this coronavirus pandemic or pandemic is going on. People are more dependent on what the doctor and what other people overseas have to say. You understand? When we here have the natural resources, see, the natural herbs, natural spices that can cure our bodies naturally. So that is one of the main causes, not just the self forces alone, but the people, the ignorance of the people, you understand? And the immoral behavior of our system, our educational system, which has not taught the youth about the foundation of living. But we have more learned about how to live like other people, you understand? So we see where less production has caused us to lose. We have the Chinese producing more in our country than us. We have other countries coming into the business more than us. You understand? And as I said, we the people do not respect each other. And that is something that can be taught and must be taught. Self-discipline, love and respect for each other. I think that is the foundation where we should, we should really reorganize ourselves, you know? So those are the things that has caused us to be our currency to go down. 
we're not manufacturers anymore. We're not producers anymore. And the same thing with the mama land, as I'm telling you. We take out our natural resources, the gold, the diamonds, everything, sent to other countries to be produced because they have the machine and whatever to do what they have to do and sell us back as Africans our own resources. So over the period of time now, you see the economy going down, going down and going down. So all of this now is just a means of people that are greedy and we would call bad mind and grudgeful against our skin tone, against our strength, against our spiritual awareness, against our culture. They have over the years infiltrated, demonized, and downgraded our culture. You understand? And use our resources to make the money that we should have been making to strengthen the economy, that we strengthen their economy when we should have been strengthening our own. So it's this form of Willie Lynn syndrome that has come from back in the days until now. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, so you know, yeah man, so Africa X5, enough love and respect, you know, and continue to do the great work, you know, bringing message to the African people and not giving them a sense of confidence, which we, I'm not going to say they, which we all need right now, you know, so give thanks, Africa X5. Mm.